Catch and release fishing is a great way to conserve our resources, but only if the fish that we release survive. One way to ensure that survival is with adequate decompression. The West Marine Elevator is an easy step to get that done. Follow along and we'll take you through the process. Hi, I'm April Wakeman and Bob Olinskis is going to show me how to put together a West Marine Fish Elevator today. He's assured me it's a simple process, so gee Bob, how do we start? Well, we start out checking the weight of, of, the, of the container and it's very light so it will not submerge fast enough. So to increase the rate of descent, we made two weights. They were four pounds a piece, and we drilled them a quarter inch holes, about five inches apart, and one inch from the edge. And we have all the hardware, and all the hardware is stainless steel. Why we, is it stainless steel, Bob? Well, we're working in the ocean, and you know the problems we have. You're a boat owner, and you know the problems we have in the ocean. Okay. With rust. And and this this crates from West Marine. What what do I when I go down and ask for it? What do I ask for? Uh, they're they're utility crate. Okay, so I I start with a West Marine utility crate, and then some weights. You said those were four pounds well, each. Four pounds each. So total weight would be eight pounds. Okay. And how do I determine where to drill the, I, I understand the holes on here, how does it? What we do, we take the container and lay it on its side, I'm, I'm trying to do it so you could see it. We center it by eye or we could measure and center it and we keep it approximately a quarter inch from the bottom. So if it bumps down on the bottom and hits anything, it's not going to hurt it. Then we drill quarter inch holes through. And that would be through both the weight uh, and the basket? The, uh, the already we have the w holes in the weight, we drill through the basket. Okay, so if I was doing this at home, you'd recommend I first do the, the weight, then put it on the basket and yes, drill it through? Yes, absolutely, okay. you gotta do that. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not experienced in this. And, and then we take a series of stainless steel screws and washers. First we take a quarter twenty hex head stainless steel screw inch and a half long for this application. If you use other weights you might have to have longer or shorter because you don't want them sticking out too far it might bump the rockfish. And what we do is take a quarter inch washer put that on first, a 516 stainless steel fender washer and then we put it through the basket, put the head inside, and put it through there. Then we take another stainless steel washer, put it on top, and then we've got a quarter twenty stainless steel lock nut, and we tighten it down with that. Okay, Bob, let me see if I can do it. I take my hex nut, I take the quarter inch washer, put it through first, the big washer, isn't a that a good? A fender washer. A fender washer. And I say that because they're kind of hard to locate, but West Marine has a great supply of stainless steel well, screws and bolts and hardware. Okay, they're, so. And they're very easy located. So, so I've got the three items. I thread it through the, the this. Then I take another quarter inch washer. And then my locking nut a lock nut uh, quarter 20 lock nut not very good at screwing with my left hand here and but we've got it started there okay and, and then we take 7 sixteenths open end or box and we tighten them up wow that sounds easy enough i think even i can do that oh here let's try you let's try you out <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you yep. go. Okay, and I assume we just replicate that on the other side. And that's what we do on the other side. Okay, Bob, well, it looks like we've got done a pretty good job of getting the weights on there. How do I, I don't want to drop it off the, <coughs> off the boat just like this. How do I make sure I get my basket back? Well, we have a 100 foot 
of half inch or three eighths line and you can tie it around the top and splice it through so when you pick it up it'll balance and then tie it what a, a traditional bowling maybe <laughs> I'm not a sailor this is a regular knot actually I and think that's I, a I granny could, knot. could you do better than I do I think so oh great uh, I, I could use an improvement on my rope tie yeah I took power squadron classes, but they really didn't do very good. I, I, well, I'm going to just go with a, a normal bowling here. Down the rabbit's hole, around the tree, and back. You the got hole. it. Okay. And and then we Girl Scouts help. And then we marked the line at 60 foot, and that's how deep we can take it down to 60 foot, so the fish would recover. And then at the other end of the line, the far end, we put a hook. So you could attach it to the boat. Or, so so or the, the, the hook I'll be able to attach to the boat in case the whole thing goes overboard. Uh, we rough can, water, we hit rough water, something happens and everything. Well, we could always retrieve it. Okay. We, we uh, fish on a pretty small boat. This looks like a good deal because I can turn it over, keep it on board, keep the rope inside the basket itself and then it's ready to go when we catch that one that we need to get rid of. We need to release it because we're going to come back in two weeks and catch the same fish again. That's the beauty of catch and release. So, so that's how we build a West Marine fish elevator. Our fish elevator, yes. And, and we'll probably save a lot of fish this way because uh, 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 the survival rate of rockfish was very very low.